Hey loves, so welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out all the new e.l.f. makeup, which maybe you might have seen, but they launched a ton of new stuff. I have the new Hydrating Camo CC Cream, a new Mascara Dupe, new Liquid Blushes, and new $2 Lip Liners. So we're going to do a little first impressions, get ready with me. And as always, make sure you grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it and have some girl time. First new product is the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara. Apparently this is a tubing mascara and this one I got in pitch black. It comes in regular black and a brown. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, the specifically liquid lash extensions, which I have tried before and I do really like, but let's see how this one compares. This is what the packaging looks like. The wand actually does remind me a lot of the one from Thrive Cosmetics. Let's compare them really quick just to see. This one from Thrive definitely feels super heavy. Oh wow, yeah, these are super, super similar. So on the right side, I have e.l.f. and on the left, we have Thrive Cosmetics. So let's see how the e.l.f one applies. I'm actually not going to do any eye makeup today. I'm just going to do mascara. So I'm going to curl with my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. Okay, so first impressions. The formula of this is not super wet, which I actually do like. You can see it's already giving length with just one coat. That already looks really good. I prefer a mascara that isn't as wet because then I feel like it doesn't get clumpy. I notice that this gives length and separation pretty much instantly. I'm gonna do another coat. Definitely gave some length to my lashes. Honestly, you could probably just stop at one coat. I like it so far. It gives a length, it gives a separation. It's not too clumpy, it's not wet. It gives a good amount of length right off the bat where you don't really need to layer it. So I would just stick with one coat for me personally, but it looks really good. I like this formula so far, but we'll see how it wears. Now I'm gonna go in with the Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I picked up the color Light 240W, which is the shade that I'm in in the other CC Cream. I really like the original. I think it's super full coverage, pretty long wearing, and a really nice dupe for the It Cosmetics one. So I'm curious to see how this one compares it says it's full coverage long lasting dewy finish i'm gonna prep the skin first and i'm gonna just do a little bit of the elf jelly pop dewy primer which is one of my favorites i usually always do some type of gripping hydrating primer and this one smells so good and i believe this is now available again which is amazing because it's one of the best gripping primers i think it's even a little bit more gripping than their power grip so this one's really good. And I also picked up some new brushes. This is the cream and powder brush. And I'm going to use this one right here to apply the CC cream. I love this. And then you get a powder side, which is good for bronzer. Ooh, I like the other side here. This could be good for foundation or even for cream products as well. But I also did get a liquid blush brush, which I'm going to try out with the liquid blushes. But let's try this out first with the cc cream this also has hyaluronic acid niacinamide and spf 30 in it and like i said the original cc cream is so nice this might be a little bit yellow but we're gonna make it work like always it does have a little bit of that spf scent oh that looks so good very pretty very just naturally healthy on the skin the brush is nice because it's soft it's a little bit dense but it's not too dense I think it's a good size as well. I can definitely see me using this for cream products too. Hopping in here to let you guys know that I picked up another color in this hydrating CC cream. I got the shade Light 210N, which I think is so much better than 240W. I don't know why I keep buying foundations that are so warm because that one is clearly way too yellow. This is actually much better and it's a little bit more neutral. So my undertone is definitely more neutral versus warm. And this one is just, I know it's going to look so much better than the other one. So just a little PSA. That looks really, really good. It's super healthy. It's pretty much like the original, but it's a little bit more dewy. But I like the fact that it's not overly dewy and it doesn't feel greasy on my skin. It just gives kind of like that natural, healthy, lit from within kind of glow. It reminds me a lot of the It Cosmetics, but it kind of gives that similar vibe and the effect is almost spot on as well. I'll have to do a little comparison another time with e.l.f. and like the dupes that they have duped because they have a lot of dupes. So I'll have to definitely do that soon. I wanna just test this out fully today. 
and see how it wears. But look at how pretty that is. And I love the It Cosmetics Nude Glow. That's one of my favorite everyday products. It is gorgeous. I've always loved It Cosmetics CC creams, but I do feel like the ones from e.l.f. are a nice alternative if you don't want to splurge and you want a very similar effect, something with SPF and some skincare in there. It's a nice product. And this, I'm really, really liking it a lot. I really like this brush too. But that is what it looks like. I'm very into this formula. I think the coverage is fabulous. And I love the way that just truly blended so seamlessly into the skin. It doesn't look heavy. It still looks like skin. I agree with all the claims on this. This looks really, really good. Now let's try out these liquid blushes. I got a couple different colors. Let's go with a neutral and then a brighter shade. So these apparently are supposed to be dupes for the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, which I love. But I think a blush that is a liquid blush that I love even more are the ones from Juvia's Place. So let's see how these compare because I think Juvia's Place are the most pigmented liquid blushes I've ever used. So we'll see how these compare. But this is what these look like. Super cute packaging. And I love all these colors. I didn't get all the shades. I kind of just got the ones that I knew I would love the most. Let's go with the most natural color in Peach Perfect. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. liquid blush brush. I'm going to just do one dot. Apparently these are really pigmented. This is, I think, a dupe for one of my favorite shades from Rare Beauty, which is Bliss. So let's see how it blends. Apparently they're really pigmented with just one dot, but... I figured, yeah, this color is, I think, the lightest color of them all. So you can see, similar to the one from Rare Beauty, that is the one shade where you can actually do more than a dot and you're still gonna get a really natural wash of color. And I feel like that is the case with this shade as well. Super natural. You can actually be generous with this because it's still gonna give you a really light wash of color. Again, this one is in the color Peach Perfect. Very pretty. I like the way it blends. Doesn't seem to be lifting any of my foundation. This brush is nice. It's a little bit more dense than the foundation brush that I used. I think I might prefer this one because it has a bit more fluffiness to it. So that blended in very effortlessly. Let's go with a brighter color. This one is in Pinky Promise. Let's see how this compares. I feel like this is gonna be way more pigmented. So I'm gonna be not too generous with this. Let's see. I'm gonna do about that much. And then we'll see how it blends. It's pretty. I love the blend that they have. And by the way, I don't necessarily hate this brush, the liquid blush brush, but I prefer this one, definitely. The dual ended brush, the cream and powder face. That one, I think I like a little bit more, to be honest. So first impressions, these are not as pigmented, in my opinion, as the ones from Rare Beauty or the ones from Juvia's Place. I think they do have some good pigmentation to them, but they're a little bit more buildable, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you can see it definitely builds up. So I think these are definitely a more mild version of the ones from Rare Beauty. So if you don't like those, you might like this formula because it is a little bit more buildable. So that is what they look like. This is definitely for my natural people out there. It gives a really light flush. Even when you build it up, it doesn't give you a ton of color payoff, but I love this kind of look for everyday makeup. I think it's a good cream base for other blushes to layer over top. And then this one over here is Pinky Promise, which is that bright color. I think these do have a really good blend to them. Let's do some concealer now. I'm trying to do my concealer after my liquid blush because I do feel like it gives a bit of a more seamless look. This is Makeup Revolution Filter Finish. I'm gonna see if the color still peeks through after powder and everything too, so I'm curious about that. I actually really like the fact that the cream blushes are very easy to use and they're not overly pigmented because I know sometimes that can be overwhelming. I cannot even tell you the amount of times I have almost ruined my makeup from using a blush that's a little bit too pigmented. So I like the formula. Elf Halo Glow Powder in Light Pink. Of course, you already know. One of my all-time favorites. Look at this powder on the under eyes. It gives a little brightness, a little bit of a just really healthy glow, but it sets everything so beautifully. And I love that you can still see that blush. You see, even after powder, that's good. Oh, wow. This blush, even though it's natural, I love that you can still see that color. It's still stands out this one is a little bit brighter but i think they both look really pretty 
I can't wait to use the other shades. Speaking of e.l.f. brushes, I love this powder brush. This is so good. It's like a flat top kabuki, so it's perfect for setting your entire face. I'm using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder just to set the rest of the makeup down. I'm gonna just add a little bit of blush on this cheek. Actually, I'm probably just gonna do both cheeks just to make them look even on both sides, but this one is also from e.l.f. It is their Blush Bright Pink. I'm gonna just do a little, little dusting of this on the cheeks. Wow, that's actually a lot brighter than I remember. Blend that out a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little of the mascara on my lower lashes. Love the skin, by the way. Doesn't really hold too much of a curl. My lashes are super straight, so I feel like typically the only mascaras that really hold a curl is anything waterproof. Like, I love the e.l.f. Big Mood waterproof mascara that one is so good it's actually one of my favorites but i'm loving the length on this you see it just gives a really good length and separation i love the fact that it's not clumpy and you don't really need to layer it like i said earlier i feel like the same goes for the lower lashes you don't need a ton of this to get the effects so i really like that so far i think the only other new thing we have are lip liners so i'm gonna do a little swatch because i picked up three of them i didn't get all the shades the one color that i actually wanted was sold out but i managed to get three of these so let's try them i have by the way these are the cream glide lip liners two dollar lip liners i love that bad is beige dark cocoa and mauve aside so i'm gonna swatch first lightest to darkest and then we'll see how they look i really love this brush i cannot say enough good things about it it's so good i actually need to apply some bronzer so let me actually use this side it's perfect for this i'm just gonna hit my forehead with a little bit of bronzer i'm using this one from Haley's beauty it's the resculpt smoothing contour powder in light i've been loving this for contouring my nose but whenever i just want a little bit of color i like this bronzer too and this look is really natural so we're gonna keep it light so first color again is in baddest beige mm. creamy for sure i already know this is like my favorite color I still need to practice lining my lips because I can never get it to be perfect, but can we just talk about this color and the way that that literally just glided on my lips like butter? These are so pigmented. They don't feel drying whatsoever. The only thing I had on my lips earlier, by the way, is the Pixi Collagen Lip Gloss, which is just like a clear, hydrating, glossy lip balm. My lips feel so soft and this just glided over them. And you can fill in your entire lips with this lip liner and it's so effortless. This is my favorite color already. I'm gonna try on the other color in Mauve Aside. That's cute. Oh, that's pretty. Again, you see how they just glide on your lips. Wow. I'm really impressed with the fact that these are $2 still. I mean, the way that they just give you such pretty pigment and this color is really nice as well it's not too pink which is nice and i feel like these would pair beautifully with their lip oils over top which by the way i have been really enjoying a few different colors but the shade that i would pair with this lip liner is rose envy this right here yeah this is perfect you know what i would love a baby pink lip oil from elf are you kidding with like a brown lip liner but like different, maybe different variations of brown and pink. That would be super cute. This combo right here, I'm obsessed. I don't want to take this off, but I want to try on the bold brown lip liner to see how it looks. Before each application, by the way, I just take my foundation brush and kind of just go right over around my mouth and just a droplet of the CC cream just to mute everything out. And then I set that with some powder. And the last color that I have is in dark cocoa, which is a deep brown. And I already know this is going to be so rich and pigmented. And I have the perfect lip oil with it right here. This one is in jam session from elf another one of my favorite colors wow she's bold
I don't really like this color on me, but again, we're seeing the pigment. I tried to mix a little bit of the baddest beige shade in the center, but I don't really like this color on me. It kind of just looks like an eyebrow color on my skin tone personally, but again, the formula is still consistent just like the other shades. I'm gonna go back to the baddest beige shade because this is truly like my favorite perfect nude. And then this is another lip oil that I love so much. This one is in Honey Talks, and this is perfect with this lip liner. Let's layer this up. Let's do a quick recap on all the goodies. Starting off with the Lash Extender Mascara. I am loving the length and separation that this did to my lashes, especially when I'm not wearing any eye makeup. I love a good mascara that actually shows up on my little lashes, and this did it for me. I am loving it. I really love e.l.f. mascaras in general, to be honest. I have a lot of favorites from them. The Big Mood is one of my all-time favorites, specifically the waterproof version. This one, unfortunately, doesn't hold a curl like that one does, because I feel like, again, it's not waterproof. So if you want a waterproof mascara and you have straight lashes that one is really good but I still like the formula of this and hopefully it doesn't flake because I think it's really good again for length and separation also very much into this camo hydrating CC cream this looks so good you can probably still see a little bit of like that dew peeking through right now it's so healthy and fresh I love that it's not greasy I think elf does a really good job in their halo glow department because like seriously it's not too much it's just the perfect amount of glow and I really enjoyed the original so if this is anything like the original then it's amazing this has really good lasting power i've tested this out next to the one from it cosmetics and i think this is a nice alternative and i'm thinking the hydrating one is going to be a nice little dupe for this cc plus nude glow so i'll have to test these out side by side but i really like this one so far and the color light 240w is always perfect in all of elf's complexion products so i really like this a lot and it also gave good coverage as well the liquid blushes like i said these are so pretty i like that they are a more toned down version to the rare beauty blushes or the ones from Juvia's Place. Definitely beginner friendly and I like the blend that these have. The color Peach Perfect is a really nice alternative to Bliss from Rare Beauty and then the shade Pinky Promise is a nice alternative to Happy from Rare Beauty. So check these out. You can get them at Target and I'm really impressed so far. I can't wait to use the other colors but my favorite thing to be honest that I used out of the entire video for sure are the lip liners. Like wow. The fact that these are two dollars is insane. I don't know how the lasting power is going to be. From what I've seen they're not going to be transferred proof waterproof but they're two dollars and i think the pigmentation and just the creaminess of it is everything i mean these feel so luxe when you apply them i really like these two shades that i used in baddest beige and a mauve aside and then the elf lip oils i tested these out already but i really love all of these four shades and i think they pair really nicely with the lip liners for sure jam session is my favorite color honey talks red delicious and rose envy 10 out of 10. And then you guys know I'm obsessed with makeup brushes. It is literally one of my favorite things to test out. So out of these two, I don't like the liquid blush brush. It's a little bit too hard and dense for me. So I would say skip out on it. You don't really need it. But if you do want to try out another new brush, the cream and powder face brush is really nice. The powder brush is nice because you can use this for any powder product really, but I love it for bronzer. And then the cream side is great for your cream and liquid blush and bronzer products, even for foundation because the CC cream applied really nice with this as well it just has a good amount of flexibility and density to it and then i just love that it's dual ended so it's really good for traveling but let me know if you guys have tried any of these goodies down below in the comments and definitely look out for these in some upcoming videos because i already have some favorites the lip liners like i said for me are my top favorite but i can't wait to test everything else out so thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye